What are signs a woman hasn't matured? Not communicating when you do or don't want something and then holding resentments about it later. She's always going on about cutting out all the drama and toxicity from her life. Hint. She's the drama and toxicity. Many of my mum friends compete with their own daughters. Talent. Success. Male affection. It's all effing disgusting. When the only way she can get ahead is by bringing you down. When, instead of communicating she makes a status about your tweet, triangular flag on post immediately cut off. Putting others down for fun. One of my friends started dating a girl and he brought her to dinner with us. She attached herself to me, because I was the only girl in the group. She spent the entire night commenting negatively on the clothes and appearance of every single person we passed and thinking she was so clever for it. Sorry, but I'm in my 30s and don't feel like hanging out with someone who has the mentality of a middle schooler. Making an accessory drama and stating you don't like drama. Then, you're probably toxic and your entire group of friends are just like you. You never left high school mentally. Excuse me? but you will address me by my husband's rank. Thank you very much. Lack of empathy and listening skills. Thinking you are less of a man for being emotionally vulnerable and expressing your feelings, and later weaponizing these insecurities. A big one for me are women who assume they're right in every argument, and refuse to acknowledge the other person's point of view. Even when proven wrong, I dated a girl like this. She accused me of something. We got in a fight. I objectively proved her wrong, and she pulled the I'm just going to take off my shirt and see if you're still angry thing. No, I don't want Shreks. I want you to admit you were in the wrong, apologize, acknowledge you understand why it made me upset, and then maybe Shreks. Thinks she shouldn't have to respect your boundaries, because she's a woman. Doesn't communicate feelings while expecting me to magically know how she's feeling keeps quiet about misunderstandings and doesn't even give me the chance to resolve it so I keep doing it and it eventually becomes the reason why she ghosts me. I met my best friend last August, and it's going really well, because she's actually capable of telling me the moment I say or do something she didn't like. So I'm able to immediately apologize and change my behavior. Doesn't matter the Shreks, if you feel the need to test your partner then you're not mature enough to be in a relationship. If every freaking thing becomes a huge dramatic issue, or threatens self-harm. Treat me like a queen then treats her man like shoot. Also, a massive sense of entitlement. An inability or unwillingness to do something independently. Double standards. Low or no accountability gets hammered every chance they get after college. I would say it's not gender specific though. When they do not take responsibility for their financial well-being, e.g. They rely on parents, boyfriends, credit cards, etc. and plan on a so taking it on. I'm not talking about people who are living paycheck to paycheck or have other challenges. Parents who make a decision that one partner will bow out of work to care for children. Or people who need government assistance due to the high cost of childcare, healthcare, and housing. Specifically women who make no future plans for their financial security, because they anticipate marrying well. They make their drama public. Still have a couple of women I went to high school with occasionally make a backhanded status directed at someone in their personal life containing info they probably shouldn't be sharing. Just ignoring you when mad. Instead of talking, resolving, moving on. I get it. I did the same when I was 12. But goddamn it's childish and annoying. I opened this right as my wife was pelvic thrusting at me and making fart noises. So. I think I'm going to be okay. Joining an MLM and being 100% convinced that they're business owners. I only date 6 feet Geminis and Scorpios, and they better make 6 plus figures. That sense of entitlement where she still calls herself a princess, like daddy treated her that way, so the world should as well. Calling herself a boss babe bitch while thinking she is an entrepreneur for peddling MLM products. Constantly breaking up and getting back together. This probably applies to men and women. One friend of ours habitually breaks up and reconnects with her boyfriend so that each week when I hang out with her roommate it's like a Schrodinger's relationship to tell if they're still together or not. It's not abuse from what I've been told. 
Just they're both somewhat alcoholics who feel they can't do better than their partner, but get annoyed and make drastic decisions. Talking about how they're not like other girls and putting down other women constantly. Drama, 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 drama. Everything is drama. Similar to those found in a man who hasn't matured, basically being self-obsessed. I think it's different for everyone. We all have shadows that need to be healed and there's a few common ones that often present themselves at different stages in our lives. People don't just mature all at once. It's a lifelong process of growth. Some examples are drama and gossiping, bullying, jealousy and insecurity, inability to communicate, inability to talk about feelings, inability to listen to partner, show empathy and validate their feelings, lack of boundaries with self and others, work and friends, lack of boundaries with family, parental figures and siblings, lack of independence from family, lack of self-control, and difficulty moderating habits like drinking and partying, lack of self-care both physical and mental, lack of self-awareness. In a relationship, not letting you hang out with your friends, moreover expecting you to spend every second with her. If she's into guys, not allowing or wanting her male significant other to have female friends or associates. Also saying she won't date or befriend someone because of their zodiac sign. Doesn't communicate feelings expectations, bad irresponsible with money, quick to get jealous, any care and behavior, signs not exclusive to women. When her trainers light up when she runs for the ice cream truck. Always gossiping about other people. It's behavior that starts in pre-adolescence and continues throughout the teens. Some people then mature and grow out of it, while others just stay like that for the rest of their life. They are forever trapped in a state of suspended adolescence. She can't make decisions on her own. She has to consult with her family or friends for everything. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. I'm an authentic girl and speak my mind whenever I want to. If it bothers you, it's your problem. A woman should always be able to speak, manifest her worries and insidious factions. In today's society, we know how important this is, but this shouldn't be an automatic right to be a towards people without pondering the consequences. I worked with a woman in her late 40s who was severely emotionally and mentally insecure. I'm guessing she had undiagnosed ASD or something similar. Her mother still owned her, meaning her mother's opinion still affected her every move. For example, she made her breakup with a boyfriend, because he had diabetes. She was convinced she wasn't allowed to have a dog, because her mother thought they were too much work and would prevent her from taking care of her parents in their old age. My coworker was so anxiety stricken that she'd say the weirdest things like I'm old and I'll never get to have children, because my eggs are shriveled up. She kept a diary of all the transgressions taken upon her at work that she could use as fuel for HR. Rumor had it she had a massive file. She was also extremely gullible. My other co-worker once joked that he had to remove all his clothing to get a flu shot at the company flu shot drive, and she unironically became extremely nervous. She thought The Bachelor was exactly how relationships should be in real life. I once shared a story about how in high school I made a joint out of catnip just to experiment and she literally took that to HR saying I was currently doing drugs. We all learned to be careful what we said around her, and warn new employees. She is the definition of hasn't matured. Tells to you that she loves you on the first date. Three months later she's ghosting you for three days and replying on the fourth day when you ask what is going on, saying family drama, sorry for ignoring you and you discover that she is cheating on you when her new boyfriend texts you stop talking to her or I will beat the shoot out of you. Five minutes after she blames the ghosting on family drama, she is 39 years old and this was the day after Christmas. One sign I can think of is her extreme clinginess to you, and she can sometimes also be childish. Doesn't know what she wants in a man, doesn't know how to live without one, plays stupid mind goms when she dates. Pretty much all of Shrek's and the city. That's a shoot ton of toxic femininity, and I loathe it. Whenever I hear healing power of crystals brought up in serious conversation. When they feel you should be in constant communication, some people just don't sit on their phones as much as others, and or check their messages as often as others. Of course you should speak daily, in a relationship, 
bit, but people can be busy. Takes social media seriously, blames others for their shortcomings, gets defensive very easily, thinks people approaching her, both men and women, even in a friendly manner, are a threat, complains constantly about aspects of their leaves which only they can change yet does nothing about it. Likes equality when she gets stuff, asks you to be a man when she gets responsibility. She doesn't have her own personality, just mirrors that of her boyfriend. The constant party girl, Instagram posts showing off her getting hammered on weeknights and those god-awful Sunday brunch girls outings. For me, but her mindset is only surface level and is unable to comprehend the consequences of her actions, though that is the same for all humans. Still expecting men to follow gender norms, especially if she thinks that women shouldn't follow them, being obsessed with attention. When their behavior is childish and immature in general, try speaking to the men the chances are, they'll try to behave like a teenager who can't socially talk properly or an adult who knows how to deal with conversations.